As the shots were fired on Monday night on MSU's campus, students and staff immediately ran, leaving everything behind. Today, they were allowed back in to get their belongings, along with FBI agents and mental health professionals. 13 on your side's Keeley Lovren spent the day in East Lansing, speaking with MSU law enforcement, the FBI, and students as they revisited one of the crime scenes for the very first time since the tragic shooting. Here's her report. Andrew Strominger was working at a restaurant inside MSU's Union Monday evening. I heard a series of bangs, and initially I thought it was someone goofing around, like they took a couple metal pans and was banging them together. But I looked in the kitchen and people were running, and that's when I knew this was serious. He was in the room directly next to where the gunman had entered. I ran right out through the back doors. I was getting away. I ran across Abbott. I remember there was like a car that had to stop because there were just so many of us running out. And like once we crossed Abbott, like we all kind of paused for a second and then we continued running. Andrew said he and other students ran to a nearby room and barricaded the doors. The first thing I did was call my mom. He was erring on the side of caution, not wanting to come out until the officials told him to come out. So we, we grabbed him and I have not wanted to let him go since. Not even 48 hours after the tragic shooting, nearly 100 students returned to the union to retrieve the things they had left behind when they ran. Getting the items back to the students, so in preparation for that, we essentially cleaned the area of food that was left behind, trash that was left behind. Um, we left all the students' items exactly where they were that when they were there. So when they get here, they will be um, attached to a victim specialist, essentially walked in and uh, retrieve their items and provided that, that mental health support that, uh, that they might need, they might ask for. It was an emotional afternoon as students and their families returned to the building. They will not have to go into impacted areas of the building, uh, but there will be arrangements made for them to feel comfortable. What is not lost in this process and will be part of everything we do is making sure that the impact of our community, the, wealth, the health and well-being is considered in everything that we do moving forward. Yeah, I don't have the answers. I'm not sure what's going to stop this. So we are live outside of that union building that you saw just moments ago, students and their families going inside. And just to the right behind this union building is Berkey Hall, which is the second location where shots were fired and students were killed on Monday evening. And we are told that tomorrow the same thing will happen for Burke Hall, where students will be able to go in and retrieve their belongings that were left behind. Reporting live in East Lansing, Keely Lover, 13 on your side.